Rinpoche, we wanted to welcome everyone. Rinpoche, my name is Venable Droma. I'm the center director at Jamyang Buddhist Center in London. Oh. We want to thank you for joining us um, online today. We're very, very grateful and happy to be able to spend some time with you today. And this is a special occasion for us because because of obstacles, you weren't able to visit the United Kingdom this year, and many centers were looking forward to your visit. And so because of that, we're really, really grateful that you made time in your schedule to um, offer us a, a teaching and allow the student of the Jamyang community and other student of the FPMT UK centers to make a connection with you and to create the causes for um, a visit in person in the future. So I wanted to offer. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and we also want to thank the team at Vajrayogini Yogini Institute who are helping with the tech. Um, uh, to make this possible for us to be together with you, Rinpoche, tonight. And we also want to thank Geshe Tenzin Namdak, um, who's our resident teacher, who's kindly agreed to translate um, for Rinpoche. So, Rinpoche, a thousand thanks to you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll mm -hmm. begin with a few prayers. We'll begin with a few prayers, Rinpoche. Thank you. Um, and we'll be sharing screen so that people online can see the prayers. For those who are in the Gompa and have the Golden Book, it's page 73. Yeah. 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 And Talenja Matunaya, and a young Mongolia, Jet to a Rewa Monon Shui, Musu Jet to a Monon Shui, and Tanda de Gentin Namdagi, Kishelagi, and Dusit by Jurnaya Che, or Tindesene, and Tandangarekan, Shishi Chigitone, and Lozon, Matusche, that Gunzu Shua Tolga and Shandunche, and Tishudi, and Shandus, Chubataga, and Narema. So we're very pleased to be here and uh, also uh, it's a very good idea to start with the prayers and uh, introduction being explained by the director of Jamyang, uh, I could uh, clearly follow and also from my side, I would say a heartful thanks to organizing this event and also yeah sorry I couldn't come because of certain obstacles to uh, to uh, Jamyang itself, but also I have prayer and a great wish in the near future to be able to come so physically to Jamyang. So yeah, let's start with the prayers first, and then after that, uh, we go over the, the mind training of the seven points. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Keshla. To the founder, the endowed transcendent destroyer, the one gone beyond the foe destroyer, the completely perfected, fully awakened being, perfect in knowledge and in good conduct, Sagata, knower of the world, Supreme God of human beings to be tamed, teacher of gods and human beings to you, the completely and fully awakened one, the endowed transcendent destroyer, the glorious conqueror, the subduer from the Shakya clan, I prostrate, make offerings and go for refuge. To the founder, the endowed transcendent destroyer, the one gone beyond, the foe destroyer, the completely perfected, fully awakened mm -hmm. being, in knowledge and in good conduct, Sagata. Tavendo Chatrava, Gavin, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dola Benjir Sanjian Ru Parashu Kangi Tuzen Yesu Ne Dawa Dham Jepan Peche Tham Peche Ne Dun Sebe Kodam Dela Cha Cha Lo 
サジプリルセルメノサラレシサマロールサムデシュアチェ、タシデリシュアイ、エネ、ヤンサムルスティティンダトンバルジュファシェディスウィチ、アタ、エネタネ、エネ、ロジョンティンドゥ、ティワチンビ、ロジョンティンドゥギ、エンタ、ツイティ、ジョジャニュニュ、エネ、ティンジャチンボ、ティンサボ、ケチンボ、アタティンデチティ、エネ、アランス、ペジャーヤンセンヨレギャワシンのウクンドゥネティンモンウエネジャバシュニューヨレウォテティンデジギトネエネタネパチシュユドス。First of all, I would like to welcome everybody. Although here in the hall there's not that many people, so for me it's a bit strange to look into a camera and teach. But first of all, yeah, welcome and we're here together to go over the seven point mind training. A very condensed text, but、uh, although condensed, has great meaning and is very profound and also very important. And、oh. I received、uh, this text、uh, on many occasions also from His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Oh, Jir Nabo Sanje be chudi ninge zawa je, oh ninge chumbu zawa che val tene chunga va je, yangu tiba chumbu chugi zawa de ninge chumbu. チャンジュー・セムセンエンディケダマジェス、シンエンディツァー、ニンジェチンボル・ラーレディギヨドバ。ニンジェチンボル・ヌベトブギ、エネチャンジュー・セム・コンペ、シュチェル、ダン、シュチェジュン・センエンディ、テネン・ロウヨドバ。タテンデチギ、エネチギ、ニンジェチンボル・ザー・チェバル・チュンエ、エネティワチンビ・チューティ、エネジュゴヤン、チャンジュー・セム・デル・トゥディギヨドバ。ティワチンボル・チャダマチャ、エネニャメンティ、エネティワチンビチュール、ドタマンドセンゲンティアン、エネチャンジュウセムディラトゥデヨデバ。ティンデインザン、エネトゥンセンドゥンギュゴネ、ラマセリンバギ、エネドゥチェ、ダンバティソンインバレス。So then,、uh, first of all, compassion. Yeah, so compassion, basically, we could say compassion is the root of, of the Buddhist teaching and also is the root of Bodhicitta、uh, to develop and also gives great strength. To bodhicitta. And we also know that、uh, bodhicitta itself is the only mind that gives us、uh, the entry door to the great vehicle. And because of that, it's an important mind to be developed, and that we can see from various mind trainings, in, including、uh, that of the seven instructions of Lama Selingba. Mm. Mm. パンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパンデダーテンパン
so then uh, also the great masters of the past including uh, the great master chandakirti although um, writing a commentary in his uh, supplement to the midway on the, the root of wisdom by Arun Arjuna, uh, there's various ways to praise in the beginning of a text. And he actually pays homage to great compassion. So he can pay homage to the Buddha or the Buddha of, Ma the Buddha of wisdom, Manjushri, or other aspects or objects of homage. But here, uh, Chandakirti decided to pay homage to great compassion. And first pray great compassion and also then see that great compassion is very important in the beginning, in the middle and the end. Tomar Ketchawa, Sabent and Dawa, Pardu Ketchawa, Chulu than Dawa, Tamar Ketchawa, Nibu Mimba than Dawa, or Tende Hindu, Chanjuk Sam, Tomar Kayatea, Ninja Chimbul, and a Ketchambuchi Tony, Sawachin, Yungu Yabe, the Sabent and Dawa. Pardu Chanju Sembe, Nyamle, Ningdo Chambu Yatea, Ninja Chambu, Gavdengi, Shuk Chijuna Dene, and a Yungu Yabe Chane, and a Pardu Ketchawa, Chulu than Dawa. Taran Monet Hanegi, G. Ninja Chambuti, Hawar to Shuk Chambuji, Hassam Shena Mendavaji Yebe Kabla, and Kacha Tamasum, you saw Sabal, Demogova, New Wedney to Mombaz over San Jebe, Tindegi Nagi, Nyamlegi Tony, New to Mombaz over San Jesatia, so Ninja Chambu, Hassam Gi, Nindo, Shena Mendavaji, Gabdeng Tony, and Sanga Nyamlesing at the Yongo Yedava, Tindainza, and the Dribumim, but Drive, and Ketchup of Satin Delay, part of Ketchup of Chulu Dawse, Tundere, Tarongobaz of a side, Yen and Yang, and Shenden Zaba, Tele near Dungu Chambe, and Zaba Padume Zetu at Tian, Ninja Chambi Topji, and Yungu Yoba in Bechane, the woman but and Dawas and O Tuschen, and Tonda Passon to Ketchadanko, Tuschen, Sungu Yamber. So then uh, this master Chandakishi in the supplement to the widow may midway then uh, says initially in order to uh, start the part, it's kind of great compassion, it's like a seed that it starts our spiritual part to enlightenment. And then on the part, also there, great compassion is, is very important. And then it's kind of a basis or a support like water, watering or nurturing the seed. And then from the point of the result, then also there, we can see that there is a special intention based on great compassion in order to be able to strive for a period of time, for example, for three years, in order to achieve the Buddhahood. So it's a kind of a support there as well, in order to, from the result point of view of Buddhahood, in order to work for the benefit of others. Also there, it's based on the special mind of uh, great compassion. Oh, uh, Goyachi re, don't you tobe share of meba, nyung be driven with him in Duchota, she did driven with him in Ducho, Chetuaj, Yomare, Tin, don't you tobe share of the catch and butchic the red red, don't you tobe share of Gate, Chanju, Sam, the Ninja Chimbutsa, Chavachi, Tindichi, Trochi, Mebaina, don't you Ninja Nimbuchens, said the chat to the Mebachida, Tabjin number Kundan Dembe, Namgun Chondang, Tombani singing the chat to the Medavachi. Tabjin number Kunda, the Namgu Chonda, the Tombani singing, and the Rangul Magena, Nomon be driven in the Chos, and she didn't jump a chet to ready. She did drive at Jumber Chebe, Tindeki, Satchu, Yonsu Zone, Mombas of a sign, yes, and that Junta Medevaci, Tende Hindu, Jimmy Maluba Jumbe, Jomjegi, Tunyu Tope, Yeshe, Tindechigi, Tia, Top Changing Juma Chabala, Ninja Chimpe Captain, Nabachan to Godeachi, or Tender de Doas, Tinza, Omajube Chuji, Cablea, Ninja Chimbo Chuji, Zebe Gobata, Gusent and Day in Baris. So then, of course, uh, in order to eliminate obscurations to knowledge, we have to eventually realize emptiness. Yeah? So without emptiness, that's not possible. But without the, the support of Bodhicitta, 
or the great methods of bodhicitta, it's not possible uh, with that realization of emptiness. Yeah, one with the realization of emptiness based on renunciation, one can eliminate uh, obscurations to liberation, but not the obscurations to omniscience. So in order to uh, do that, we need both. We need the uh, supreme methods of great compassion and bodhicitta, in particular bodhicitta, and then conjoined with the wisdom realizing emptiness, we can uh, progress on the 10 grounds or the 10 bumis all the way up to enlightenment. So here you can see that in order for to have a support for the mind or the wisdom uh, the, the wisdom realizing emptiness, you need the support of bodhicitta in order to be able to eliminate those obscurations and achieve eventually the state of enlightenment. So that what we just discussed is also one of the reasons why uh, Chandrakirti praises compassion in the beginning in his text. Also in the text we are dealing with, the seven-point mind training, we see uh, the same happening there. There is first of all, the homage to great compassion. And well, this homage to great compassion has a kind of um, meaning that needs interpretation and a direct meaning. Yeah, So the meaning that needs interpretation, one could say it's kind of uh, the great compassion of the deity of Avalokitesvara. But the direct meaning, actually, of the, the homage to great compassion is in accordance with Chandakirti's supplement to the Bidame and paying homage to great compassion and see that great compassion is important in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Oh, that then, eh, Chu Kung Zumba Temba Chavich, that then my lodge on to do my collegal man druida, Chu Kung Zumba Temba Chavich, the Zababu Chava Temba Tala, and Manga Duzin in body, and selling by the Guba Yes, and then there were lodge on to do ye, and Manga Nate, Lama selling buggy, and Dama de Mandos to do the baggy. Yes, no, or do some batigi, ta, uh, chitan, tidua. You mean, uh, sangi jum dendegi, chuju color, jumba sumu cove, nane, and a color papa, you mean share a gipar of the chimbati, and a color parta sum like sum yebe guine, and a che chodongabate, she jing do derum butch in the yins, or tender sungo doa. So then here, um, this, this um, after the homage of great compassion, also the text indicates the, the origin of, of this instruction. And then it says, well, the essence of this uh, nectar of the secret instruction is transmitted from the master of Sumatra, Lama Selingpa. And then when we go back to the, the Buddhist teaching, then among the three turnings of the wheel, as we know, there's the first turning in the middle and the third turning of the wheel, then it's mainly related with the middling uh, or the middle turning of the wheel and well, the teachings on the perfection of wisdom sutras. Oh, that, Sangegi, Chanju, you come on top of the way, Sagegi, Dambe, Sabata, Gachevegi, Dambe, Netamje, Dine, Yungu, Yoba, Imbechane, and Tishishi were Ranigi, and a good Chambuzene, Sunjo Manakonia, shooting the Ranigi, Chi, Ranigi, Shamaze, Tel Lomets, all this touching yard, and Lomets, all the shooting Shambe Kajamever, so Tishishi were Rani Kulekanje, or Tuste, Zene, Kanda Yum Sheragi part of the Chimbati. To some the Java Tamji gave a Yumi Yimba, and a Ranse Papa Shi, and a Shedon Ponzo, Junugi, Yenten Yedeba, or Tinde in Betane, she would catch him with the Tishibea, now to see him barret. So here, uh, with the emulation with the three wheels or the three turnings of, of uh, the Dharma uh, by the Buddha himself, then also there, there is um, an uh, indication of paying great respect. To the perfection of wisdom sutras itself, to to put that on the throne and pay respect to the perfection of wisdom sutras, and well, the perfection of wisdom sutras of the profound and and the vast aspects of the vast meaning, 
and that also not only paying respect in that way, but also it's kind of the mother, yeah, the perfection of wisdom sutras is kind of the mother of the three times Buddhas and also all the Arya Bodhisattvas, they pay great respect to this particular uh, perfection of wisdom sutras. Oh, that Tindrichigi and Keche Yumshere Giparadu Chimbatella and Moden Tony Girumba, Bedun Mondo Girumbas, and Moden Tony Girumba, the Bedun Mondo Girumbas at the Pa Yan Chosen Dajig Tigi, Pejeta Maina, Yache Lam Girumbata, Samuel Lam Girumbani, Moden this Samuel Lam Girumba, Bedun Mondo Girumbati, Yache Lam Girumba, Ten Dave Yache Lam Girumbati, and Chita. My everybody so then among the perfection of wisdom sutras yeah we just said there is the aspect of the profound and and of the the, the great meaning um, so from the point of view of, of the profound, that is then referring to the meaning of emptiness, and then from the, the vast aspects of the perfection of wisdom sutras that talks about the hidden meaning, and well, the hidden meaning of the realizations of the stages of the path to enlightenment. So with regards to this hidden meaning of the stages of the path to enlightenment, that lineage of the perfection of wisdom sutras of that particular aspect went to a Maitreya, and by Maitreya, it went through Asanga and then uh, all the way up to Lama Salingpa, and then it came to us. Ta Samuel Lam Girimbati, Gombo Jambayan, Gombo Jambayan, the Pengon Papa Ludu, Pengon Papa Ludu, and the Marimashindu, and Lama Ribe Kuju. Ta Lama Ribe Kuju, and George Panda Adishalama, to Shigube in Bache, or Tendig. So in a similar way as we just discussed the, the vast aspects of the perfection of wisdom, then also the profound aspect of, of the of emptiness that came down by Manjushri, uh, Nagajuna, Gumuvanchu, and then by that also to Atisha. Should then be a dongondo germba, Sabata Yachavegi, and a grimti, Tinde in the Dang Manga, Duzin Yimbudi, and a silly bunny, Gube in Swag, Nangati, that Yachave Lam Yerimba Tenema, to see Gudaba, and Zore, or Tindicire, Tindicil Tene, silly bunny, Gube in Swag, you send to see. So then this profound and vast aspects, yeah, those two aspects of the fiction of uh, wisdom, then. Uh, from the point of view of, of, of these aspects that came then down to Lama Salingpa. Oh, that Tanya Kaps Papa de Marete, yeah, show Shendachi Gumene Shibaina, and Gombo Jambe and eh, Pengo Papa Ludu, and a Tinema Cheje, and Samotave Gubachi Yubache, young Gombo Jambe and eh, and a Yasichum Shival and Ema, Gudebachi, Lapchen Juju Sache, Yedebache, or Samuta Gu, Lapchen Juju Sinian, Yachevegi, and Guba Jambe and Guba Chita, Samuel Casa, Red Tatar, Samuel Lam Girimba, Jambe and Guduba, Yaba Yacheva, the Samuel Lam Girimba Niga, Jambe and Ma Gudeva, or Tindigi, Lapchen Juju Sache, Yodevachi, or Tindares. In a similar way, also in the wisdom lineage, uh, generally we say, we say it comes from Manjushri to uh, Arya Nagarjuna. And then also there is a lineage uh, to through Shantideva, right? The, the lineage of, of the advice of the various practices of the perfection of wisdom sutras. So that lineage is also true. And then also there are both aspects are present, the aspect of the profound as well as the vast aspects. Oh, that didn't seem much. Oh, that Lojong Lojong Sati Tote, Yan Kajati Yungudo, Yinjim in the Lojong Sati, Yamne Chevala, Peja Tundung, Mixer Lojong Singing, Peja Chunjunji, or Tindichi, any Yamne Chiaji, Chiache, Ta Yamne Cher in the Tizam de Levache, and a Jida and a Shum Cabo Nala Sobe, Shum Chen Cabo Nala Sobe, and to get it some law, Tapchi, Shaja Nizu Shiagi, or Tinde Sorgi, Shichu Samshi. And she chewed the drip chewing, low lower reversal, tenetan in my imba. Oh, that and the lojon lojon singing, mingy, tanyeti, 
Pecah nyunyun jilat tau barre te, tuhong ngado la cina, ane yumisya lagi paru tu cuma dah, tenjung ngado aja enda, umang juga la sok la, terus kanga, lojong nyamne syada aja inde baje, lojong syada inde baje, ini ingu urba, umang juga sabar, ya cewel lam jerima tempat tenyan lojong re, oh tenjung ngado aja zor kube, ya cewel lam jerima tenda tenyan lojong re, lojong Yongzore, ta ina ya, cik tanya gil, lojong sebe ming tanya, ta jasa ti, tante peja nyunyu jil jawa ramado, te yong odo tigzuk sama, en lojong shung sya ta yin baris. So then if we talk about mind training or, or lojong, yeah, so the training of the mind, that, that basically is a bit kind of pit instruction or advice, is that then uh, should things be seen in relation, if you see it or related with the five great texts studied in the traditional way, then uh, should you separate knowledge and practice? No, both have both aspects. As we know, within the Lojong, we have aspects of, of, of the, the, the knowledge as well as the practice. And in a similar way, the Abhishemalankara and the supplement to the Middle Way, for example, one, two of the five great texts being studied in a traditional way. Also those two texts, they have uh, the lojong uh, or aspects of the lojong within themselves. In a similar way, the mind trainings we are studying have the aspects of the Abhishemalankara and the supplement to the middle way as well in their uh, kind of uh, tradition. So it should not be seen as separate. Yeah. So in both aspects of the vast studies as well as the spit instructions, we see a lot of similarities. <laughs> Ane ti ce tu cebe duja la tunta minda wasi, an tinde yong daya. Tiga tu sangat lo duja rahang rangge kamda mebat a sampe gune tharbat a thamje kembe kompan la tiya cikit thanda la. Ane kanjupo di jat ma sumbare ma to cikit seja seja tham cikit thanda la de sumbe cik marba. Ane ti cembe tinggupo di nijaya meji yedebati ti kompan dene kanda kansa cik samja we lamji rimbal ya kerja cikit thanda la. Oh, sungsha baci, ini dia. Tiada ini, tanda ngoto lah cewa ini. Lojong lojong sengen di, kanjuru poti gya, tinggiru poti gya, yang jauh lo, lojong kono ya. Tapi dok gaya cik, so so anda cina, tiada cium barai. Tapi kalau tiada le, syaitu cik itu, mengi korsaan, lo cik korsaan, lo tan tin kasih kasih cik yang guru bah. Oh, oh, tapi tujuh ti, lojong yang lah kono ni dua guru bah, oh tujuh le. So in a similar way, we see the three turnings of the wheel of the Dharma by the Buddha himself, as well as the developments of the four schools of Buddhist philosophy. Uh, there are various methods uh, given by the Buddhist teachings or various means uh, given because it depends on various uh, types of disciples. Yeah, there are types of disciples with certain types of interest or inclinations or potentials. So according to that level, the different teachings are being given. In a similar way, we see that also with the more than 100 uh, Kankyur uh, text or the direct words of the Buddha and the 200 uh, kind of uh, commentaries on that by the great Indian masters, the Tengyur. And there also we see a vast amount of various teachings for the benefit of various different kind of disciples. In the Lojong as well, we see similar branches of uh, certain Lojong evolution with certain kind of types of being nectar or medicine or the branch of various aspects in order to benefit also a various uh, group of uh, different disciples. Oh, and that Kanga Dondo Sumbares, Nangaransi Gulia, Toma Mevane. And a com debe, Nengum ye debe, Ranchi ever zimbe, Chinzin, the Dadu zimbe, Danzini, Jumped up chidan, Mabba sort of chigitola, Sung debachi, Yimbare, Tin the Ranchi ever zimbe, Chinzin, Jonta chidan, Dadu zimbe, Danzin, Jonta chila, Petra Shota, Nunuchi, Jambachigi, and La Kig Rivisna, Kate of Chuni, Yungu Marwa, Tinza, Rivenam da Taiba Gone, and a Tembare Suyan Rabu. And then Tak di nampak jatuh atau kau nak dengar apa guna, tumbuh ni tiada beres semua ni. Oh, tiada tiada Hindu, tiada lojong tiada dua bodi, tiada dua tu orang nyonya tu yang dua bodi. Cita wa sendu yang susu apa, si rangi si gu, cumbu ni bodi, rangi apa jenis macam ni, dah dua jenis macam ni ni bodi, dua gugu ya bodi na, tiada dua tu kita lea, tiada tham je, sunc cembik jab tiada je bodi tu orang, cumbu ini na, ane mana tu na, ribet nama dah tayar bodi guna, ane cita dua tu ya cik. Dan tenar pepdu ya tu, ye deh ba. Oh, tenar ini tu, ni yang bapa kasar nama je kan, sungguh cembur lah, tu sahaja yang saya sedih. Siapa kecil ribas? 
So then since uh, yeah, beginless lifetime, basically we have the two aspects of, of the self-cherishing attitude as well as the self-grasping. So in order to eliminate those two aspects of self-cherishing and self-grasping, we need a very powerful antidote. And if you have just a small text to depend upon without any other kind of instructions, then it might be quite challenging. That's why also we say in the scriptures, we need kind of a very vast amount of reasoning and uh, to make the antidote most powerful. And for that purpose, to have vast amounts of reasoning for a powerful antidote, we need to study also the great text. The more understanding you have of the great scriptures, the stronger your reason will become, reasoning will become, and the more powerful the antidote is. So for that purpose, it's also very important to study these great texts. Uh, and ออจจจิกิออกติจิเรเกเกลอดดุนเดนดาเพกิกอเวเกบะมินเวอ่านําดาริเบลอดดุมิกจงลาเพกิกอเวเกบะมินเวเตมเบนเนลังเยบอซอ
so then in the text it reads you should understand the significance of this instruction like a diamond a sun and a medical uh, tree so here the first uh, reference is in relation with a diamond yeah in tibetan it reads doje it doesn't really refer to a vajra as we sometimes see but here is referred to a diamond and then also refer to a sun and and to a kind of a medical tree so the diamonds basically is very strong in the sense that it can destroy the, the, the three poisons and also here it has the power to destroy the self cherishing attitude then it's also uh, like a sun yeah like the sun uh, clear, clear clears away darkness and in a similar way the sun can also clear away the self cherishing attitude and also the aspect of the self cherishing uh, oh, sorry the aspect of self grasping in a similar way the the here referring to the medical tree that also has the power to generally speaking cure all forms of sickness or eliminate forms of sickness so in a similar way this mind trading has the power to eliminate self cherishing attitude and it's not just any form of uh, medicinal tree but also every aspect of the medicinal tree not just the fruits but also the leaves and the twigs everything has the power in that way to eliminate this uh, self cherishing attitude yeah so that correlation has been built with these three examples in relation with the mind training mm-hmm. <laughs> Then also here it's referring to uh, at the time of the five degeneration, yeah, degenerations, then uh, we need a transformation of obstacles into the part. And the five uh, types of degeneration, yeah, of the the, the aspects of, of um, the degeneration of lifespan, degeneration of afflictions, degeneration of sentient beings, the degeneration of time, and the degeneration of, of views, uh, that is all quite present at the moment. And because it's all present at the moment, we need a powerful tool to eliminate those kind of obstacles. And that's why we have to depend on these kind of mind trainings in order to transform those obstacles into the part. Oh, <laughs> And <laughs> And 
Ongo gonga la tembe digi funsun so ba ji ye ba yina ya na na ba she ba la tembe ene digi ti ru ma tu ba yina chi ene ji cha ge chi zam sa kan de ji ye ba te zam ge ene ji de wa tar tu ba ji ene jung tu ru ba sa na zao yine jung tu ta me de wa ka bre chi zam ge chen ri ge tu le da ene ji cha ge chi zam sa wa ti ya ya ge chi ba ti che ji ge Tell a tembe and dunge maru maru doya. Tell a tembe toka maru maru doya. Tell a tembe namdo maru maru doya. Tell a tembe ne sawa mandu mandu yondaya. That tendeji yungu to wadi kwe shiga jirubas. Tendeji kenye lumar chubandu. Tendeji kaptelaya and a nangi number sheba la tembe and a yende. Kenye chanjulan do yurtu yagi. Lojong in yamne tendeji yaba yina. Kenye gewe kumalachi. Dunge tamje dewe trollachi. Or and Cabre Sunguare, Tungiki, Junes, Chilo Lapetti, Gang and Lumor Chubadogi, Yede Vayinea, Nan Yamnechabu, Ti, Sengishi, the Tawan in the truth to Mede Vayindu, Tita Yamlet, Chanju Senda, Ninja Champion Yamnetic Tomne, Yungu Yeva Yinza, and Korang Lubu, Dom Gang, Tushibati, and the Tungiki, Junes, Chilo Kazegi, Sinjata, Gange, Kandichi Yeva Yinea. Yamle Chabu, Korangi, Lubu Dongan, Tushi Nanoti, the Monetan, Sandy, the two to Gumea Inza, Tungiki, Jungness, and Lumbash and Dachila, Nova Ketamaimba, or Rangi Yamba Chabu, Rangi, Lu Dongan Tushi Dinander, Monetanegi, and Tungiki, Jungnesi, Chagi Yores, or Karelisana, Ranchin, the return to day, Danzin, the return to day. Tinyabo Chanjugus and the Tomba Nigi, Yamlegi, Yedevache, then they in the Kenya Kandeji Yongba in the Tepewegi, Tablia Yurtuya, or Tinizi Yungi or Tende in the Junju Nala and Dua, Sonam Kine, Ludella, Keba Yin, Semdena, Shendon Kawa, Negan, Ningen Dega Titikos, or Tende Sungudua. So we, although we live in a time that uh, there are very good conditions present, yeah, if you compare it to a few hundred years ago, uh, you can see in the present time, we have very good conditions, medical conditions and conditions of society to eliminate certain amounts of suffering. That's definitely true. But it cannot eliminate all forms of suffering. As we know, if you look at the, the happiness uh, people try to achieve, and in particular uh, through the force of the five senses, then we can see there is no real satisfaction and there's no real stable form of happiness to be obtained. And we can see that many aspects are still in the nature of suffering. As long as we don't train the mental consciousness or the main mind of mental consciousness, then there is no way out of suffering. So we need not only an external form of development, as we see in the present society, but we also need a kind of internal development. Yeah, you can go to any village or every city or whatever you go, as long as you don't train your mind from within, then there is eventually no real possibility of uh, achieving uh, a peaceful or uh, happy, stable form of mind. And we know that as long as we don't train our mind, there is still the self cherishing attitude and the self-grasping aspect. So we need to counteract those two with the two types of bodhicitta in order to eliminate uh, self-cherishing and self-grasping has also been indicated in the great, by the great master, uh, the Bodhisattva, the great master Shantideva in his Bodhisattva Charya Avatara. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that in the Dambangui Giloma Chitati Rumbatilla, in the Tande, Lojon Tundumas, and that Tunze Dunsungu Yimbare, uh, Mondo Tengi Chetamba, or Muji Chanju Sem Jung, Tela Kunzo Chanju Sem Jung Ajada, Tonda Chanju Sem Jung Aji, Narani Yedevache, Tene, or Sumbatelaya, Keng Chanjulam de Juga de Che. That the subject Shivatela, Chechigi Yamne, Ne Tinete Antiche, the Ne Navatela, Lojong, Lota, Jan Jane, Yamne, Lojon Chechen, Mone Tunde can detain you, Maggie, said the Temba, Lojong at Set Tembas, and Trubatela, Lojong Tamsi, and a Dumbatela, Lojong Labja Cheche, or Tunje Dungugone, and Martinga Duas. So we have uh, in front of us a text, the seven point mind training. So it's a kind of subdivided into seven points, as we can see in the outlines that it talks about exp explaining the preliminary preliminaries and then the actual practice with the subdivided into the 
uh, ultimate uh, bodhicitta and the conventional bodhicitta. And then, uh, in, then there's uh, number three, is then transforming the adverse circumstances into the part. And then for the integration of the practice in a single lifetime, the five, the measure of having trained the mind. And then number six, the commitments of training, of the mind training. And then number seven, the presets of the mind training itself. Mm -hmm. Tambongondo <laughs> So then it starts with the preliminaries. Yeah, so first train in the preliminary. So what kind of preliminaries are we talking about here? We're talking about the preliminaries of, of the precious human rebirth, uh, great meaning and difficult to find. So we're talking about the preliminary of contemplating death and impermanence and the preliminary of uh, the suffering of the lower realms, as well as refuge and the law of cause and effect. And then the various meditations on the suffering of samsara. And also you could include, of course, the, the meditations on emptiness and generating renunciation. Yeah, so that are the initial preliminaries. Tanjoni <laughs> So then when it says that uh, first train in the preliminaries in the actual text, that also refers to a similar quotation in the three principal aspects of the part where it says to reverse the interest in this life by contemplating uh, the great meaning of the pressure of rebirth, death and impermanence, lower rebirths, suffering, and uh, refuge, uh, karma, and the suffering. Uh, yeah, so refuge and karma. So those are aspects of also preliminary practices in order to eliminate the interest to this life. Oh, gee, so so le ya nuba yue deva, so so le jonda yue deva, so so le ya keju tumo ma yimba yue deva. Rangi rang ngoto ya jige thanda la tenjuri kechumbu shivuji nezudi kengo ya. Oh, da. Nashiwit Dorin and Rangdin to Kovacha da Chedagi, Nimi Sambe, Yinjungu Lo Meba, Shendun to any Semjen Tadad, Kova Dungi Gatsodine, Toro Chena Sambe, any Ninja Yongsa Meba, or Tende Indu, 
Ninjun singed, So, in a similar way, also here it indicates that we all have the potential uh, to progress on stage of the part, especially when you contemplate the freedoms and endowments. But if you contemplate the freedoms and endowments and then can to a mind that you think you're quite something having this precious opportunity, then to um, counteract that uh, of thinking you quite something that we contemplate on debt and impermanence. Yeah? So debt and impermanence is a very important uh, practice and an important practice in the beginning, the middle and the end, because initially it let us enter uh, the Dharma, then it helps us to make the Dharma pure and also helps us to continue in the practice of Dharma. So uh, contemplation on debt and impermanence is very important in the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then also, in order to really put uh, uh, things into practice, so to say, we need to understand the law of cause and effect, how to act, uh, so to say. So for that purpose, we have to study and contemplate things about Dharma. And then, of course, eventually, if we want to generate compassion for the benefit uh, of liberating all the sentient beings from suffering, we first have to understand suffering ourselves. So for that purpose, seeing suffering ourselves in order to generate compassion, we need first the generation renunciation. So for that purpose, we have to contemplate the suffering of samsara. So that's actually why these uh, points are being considered as the preliminaries. Mm -hmm. Dunga <laughs> Nega dinner cube, same jay, shay, manam gi, nezu sambaina, ninja, or toast cheje, ninjuda ninjigi, and a jita dudanga tola, some of the dudanga tola, and a kove netang, rumba samzutela, and a dangzing tsawa chava latene, and a chadang lochigi yaba, chadangi lola tene, le sange. Tandan <laughs> Chumares, Leda Nyomo, Namdoles. To me, Jig and Namdole, and a Chadango Loke. Chadango Loke Balatene, eh, and the Tandandi, Chadango Loti, Zawa Karilche Vagina, and a Tanzili Chumares, Leda Nyomo, Namdol, to me, Jig, Leda Nyomo, to me, Jig and Namdol, and to me, Jig and Namdol, the Kavali Chumares, and Tanzili Travali Chumares, and Leda Nyomo, Namdole, Tata Jules. Tadatrelis, <laughs> So in a similar way, we see also, for example, in the Paramana Vartika, uh, a quotation uh, that the, how we cycle in samsara by the power of uh, being overpowered, so to say, by karma and afflictions. And because having these contaminated aggregates and being overpowered by karma and afflictions, uh, we are 
beyond control. And these aspects of being overpowered is then mostly the afflictions of anger and attachment and that we create karma with. And these anger and attachment uh, aspects of afflictions, they are then rooted in the grasping at itself. In a similar way, we see in the three principal aspect of the part swept away by the currents of the four powerful rivers, tied by bound by karma so hard to undo, caught in the iron net of self-grasping, completely <sighs> absolved by the total darkness of ignorance. So also in the three principal aspect of the part, the, the verse on Bodhicitta actually also can give us an um, contemplation on the suffering of samsara and to generate a kind of wish to get out of samsara. And then after having generated that kind of renunciation, then only we can generate uh, the, the aspect of compassion and bodhicitta. So we can see here also that in order to eliminate the powerful rivers of the sufferings that is created by uh, karma and afflictions, we have to eliminate the net or the iron net of self-grasping by the realization of emptiness. So also there in that verse, we see the same kind of way how we are bound in samsara and how we can get out of it. Arya Nagarjuna, in a similar way, in his fundamental wisdom, also talks about that uh, by the power of karma and afflictions, we are cycling around and by the elimination uh, of uh, karma and afflictions, we eventually reach the end of liberation. And this uh, being bound in samsara happens to the, the power of various wrong forms of conceptualities or forms of misconceptions. And these misconceptions of reality are, of course, based on self-grasping. And that fuels karma and afflictions. And in particular, this ignorance fuels uh, attachment and anger. And because of that, we create karma. And that's why we are bound in samsara. And then in a similar way, Arun Nagarjuna says, by the power of realizing emptiness, then we stop this all. Then we can seize this all. So that's uh, also similar quotations. We can see how we are bound in samsara and how we can get out of it. Mm. <laughs> Nibangushi <laughs> Jojo Chane in a re, uh, Cocalio Chane in a re, Tinde Chane, and a Gunzo Chanjuk Sem Jong Air. A carison, Tigel and Jugo, Gunzo Chanjuk Sem Yimbechane, Gunzo Chanjuk Sem Jong Air, and a Tondan Chanjuk Sem Jongade, Joja Tabarua, or Tinde in Bechane, and a Jul Shire, or Tinde Chane Yimbare. So then in the text itself, uh, there's a subdivision of the actual practice, yeah, point number two, where it says training in the awakening mind and then training in the ultimate awakening mind and training in the conventional awakening mind. So there you can see the ultimate uh, bodhicitta has been put forth first and then the conventional bodhicitta uh, secondly. But yeah, according to the various instructions, uh, then this has been reversed in order to first train in the conventional bodhicitta and then train in the ultimate uh, bodhicitta. And well, because the ultimate bodhicitta is a bit more uh, difficult to, to complicate, uh, to, to the more difficult subject. So that's one of the reasons why this instruction here has been reversed by the various masters of the lineage. <laughs> Yanda Shezo, Nuendande, Tontan number in Echen, Tanga Timne Gitella, Ninja Kundukene, Susche, and Tomar Chanjusam, Omo Nombo Tabuina, Tomar Tonga Nigilojang, Tonga Nigilojang Betone, Tony Nayundu, Semjan Tatamje, Tonga Nigitan, Mange on the Cork, Tamsugi Rimbatelia, Mixegi, Tomo Maimbagi, and a Carso Ninja Tune, and a Shine Chanjusemgi, and a Kunzo Chanjusem, Lodjon, but in this young race, and what in this song we are, T. Gutan, Gutan to Zola Tayundu, Tonda Chanjusem Jonate, Nella Ketchum with your Daya, to see him barre. 
So here, uh, there's nothing wrong with, with the, the sequence of first the ultimate awakening mind, and then the conventional waking mind being explained later. Uh, this depends on, on the various lineage, because, for example, Chandra Chvita also talks about uh, first uh, the ultimate awakening mind, and then the conventional awakening mind, uh, for a particular purpose, because for those intelligent bodhisattvas, or those in bodhisattvas with great capacities, then when they realize emptiness first, they realize emptiness first, and by the power of the realization of emptiness, their compassion and bodhicitta becomes very strong. So in that way, there are various kind of lineages of the sequence of those two bodhicittas. Oh, jasa tamar njengi gyu la me thadik kapla yinna yaan, marshe ne lhaasam pharki lo jangba tela tene, and jokjang thop gyoba te toh rees. Tungye khorda jaba toh ba lene, jokjang thop nyoba toh rees. Ta kor jusen samtaan jay. Oh, tinde yindu, tungye khorda jaba jay toh meba yinna, jokjang thop nyoba toh rees. To said Kaush Daris, a top Gugri Sangre, Tony Corda Jabal, Matona, Dangzipungus Tungumare, Dangzipungus Tomatuna, and it Tamje came a Tom Nusing, and Yonta Medevici, Totua, Tom Nusad, Yonta Medeva. Tinde Inza, Ten Dilapanes, Wombo Nombu, and Tarotam Tundunyeva, Lokeva Laya, and Tony Dobong on the Drogova, She Gurresma, or Tinde Indu, Tondan Chanju Sanjong, and Sumbaina, you sent to Zolina Gayore. So, yeah, there's various uh, also quotations also by the great Kelsabje there, where he also indicates the need to realize emptiness also from the point of view of, of the intelligent aspects, yeah, or the more. The, the, the person with greater capacities. And it's not only true for bodhicitta, but also for renunciation. If one has a correct understanding or realization of emptiness, then the mind of renunciation will also be much more stable and much more powerful. Oh. Changju sem gyule kya wala thoma ngayju gaya te te ngayjen re te tongba nyi ki tawa sange te inji minji ngayju jal changju sem changju sem jal tongba nyi ngayabare besna tawa ngay gawa korim te ta ngayabare besna te ta mai imba te ngay shuma thabe gyuchen tuzol te ne ane ji ombo nomboro bichi na thoma tongba nyi ki te ngayabe ta ne ane ngayju ta ane ji changju sem ngay liya ane ji tongba nyi ki te ngayya te ne le ne ye deba o korim ngayabe jen mai imba o te ne imba re. In a similar way, when we talk about the three principal aspects of the part, yeah, renunciation, bodhicitta, and emptiness, then of course, the first two, there is a sequence, right? First, uh, you have to have a renunciation in order to generate bodhicitta. Generally speaking, we have emptiness as the third principal uh, aspect of the part, but that doesn't pervade, that is not always needed, because those of greater capacities or those of greater intelligence, then if you explain emptiness to them first, and they meditate on emptiness first, then their uh, way of realization of emptiness will generate a very strong form of renunciation and bodhicitta. So it also depends on the student, so to say, or the person in the practice of you teach first emptiness and then bodhicitta, or the other way around. Oh, Niba Mushi Chanju Sem Jongala, Tonda Chanju Sem Jongada, Kunzo Chanjugi, Sem Jungsu Nile, Tonda Chanju Sem Jungsu, Ying Parcher, Mondo Sungya, Ranglu, Jango Zonga, Chimbi, Shesolta, Lozon Yemeves, Lozon, Losan Gonge, Duzingimbo, Ketan Tati, So, Mambur, Wodu Sumba, Shi, and Goba Kabarjengi, Le, Wodu Gobala. Gobert, Chave, Tena Kunzo Chanju, Sam Joannes, Ta Kunzo Chanju, Sam Joan, or Ticote, and Nelia, Yon Dante, Tisungodua. That tell us, Lelan Tamje Tiglada, Kunla Cadincha or Gom Zati, Yimba that Citra, Ruyota. Ah, student also in our text, it also reads. In our text, it also reads that, uh, according to our tradition, following the gentle protector Tsongkhapa, and contains by such works uh, the mind training like the rays of the sun and the ornaments of Lozang's thoughts and essential nectar 
and Kunsan uh, root words, then the different mind training is there also. They uh, first uh, explain the conventional uh, bodhicitta or the conventional waking mind, and then after that, the ultimate awakening mind. So that kind of sequence here is also being used in this particular mind training text. And then it starts with training in the conventional awakening mind. Ben is the one to blame for everything. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> So then this first line where it says banish the one to blame for everything, yeah, so that uh, is then, uh, yeah, supported by a particular quotation, meaning that the self-cherishing thought is the one to be blamed for all the suffering we encounter and all the obstacles we encounter and well by in the bodhisattva chara Advatara, then it says uh, the world yeah so that uh, all the world aspects of the world so that includes living beings and non-living beings yeah so like the elements for example then all those uh, living and non-living beings of the world systems then uh, they're a cause for harm as well as uh, fear suffering whatever is being found all these aspects are uh, originated in or arises from uh, the aspect of the self-grasping self-sharing attitude and all the demon demonic kind of uh, obstacles or suffering we encounter is all by because of this sorry because of this demonic or demon like kind of self that we apprehend and we grasp at and <laughs> Tamje samba tala ralebe, karna lena samba sanghe lasene, jangola mazongo wa chimu sungu duas, yu mege wale jibu dunghe, yu gewa chebale jibu digi, tende indu, jungshi neba la sobe, dunghe nazo jungwa tenga, yu mege wa, yu mege wa sanghe di shela neba la tene, ta yonde ha chigi, o tende la tene, shela neba chesade, ranche wa jimba, tu tsole chesade tene, yonde ba, o tuus chene, yu le samna tamba yina, ta ranche in zin le tene, and <laughs> Ta 
In similar way, also uh, Lam Sukapa also indicates that uh, according to this particular aspect of, of suffering and is being caused by causing conditions and then various negative types of, of karma being created causes suffering and positive cause and effect conditions uh, causes happiness. In a similar way, if other people cause suffering, then also the, the suffering they cause is also a reason of a particular negative karma. And that negative karma is being created by rooted in the self-grasping aspect and the self-cherishing uh, aspect. So also there we can see that the root of all forms of suffering is also down to the self-cherishing, uh, self-grasping attitudes. In a similar way, also Shantideva indicates that all the happiness in the world comes from uh, cherishing others and all the suffering in the world comes from uh, cherishing oneself. And even a cool wind, Shantideva indicates, comes from a virtue and it comes from the benefit of others. So all the activities that are related with uh, benefiting others will bring happiness and all the activities related with harming others will bring suffering. And that also we can see it's all rooted. So the harming other aspect is also rooted in the self-sharing attitude and benefiting others is uh, more rooted in the aspect of thinking more about others or cherishing others. Oh, and it's going to be sick to you all day. Mount the shed that made you get you around the tent of two by shingy tent of a dingy guinea cover this or rang so la shan shende yawa to shende kedu saba la tene tande so so net on the country to us. So, so called Tam David Neda, Kandish to us. Oh, that Ran Jebra Zimbatella, John to the She Jebra Zimbatella, Yundin to Tabala Tene, Tomar Tuke, Padu Chakawe, Gaseki Jobalam, Tata Tony Yonsu Zobe, and a Dingy Maluba Jobe, and a Sangi Yundin the Kandish to us, and a Dingy La Tabayena, Tanda Padu Ran Jebra Zimba, the Jinzingi, Loi Kumbuchen Debatel, Gun. Oh, that the Talang Yabach and Jugushi Tanje, that to Basangi Jum then Degi Shabla. Shabgi Jesu Dane, She Jeban Zimbalu, Yandendu Tene, Tuschene, and Lamla Lavgina, Rimbo Mitoba, and in Tishibanashi, Lotuya Tinji Rabas, and Chibarangu Tenjava, Tubashinga Tenjava, Dingin Kabatus, or Timbare. And in a similar way, also Shantideva says, yeah, in short, basically, you look at the Buddha and you look at yourself and you look at the difference between the two. The Buddha always cherished others and we always cherished ourselves. So, based on that particular verse, we try to uh, contemplate the faults of the self-cherishing attitude and then the benefits of cherishing others and then over time we ourselves will be able to progress in a similar way as the buddha showed us to do and by the power of cherishing others more than yourself and then eventually you also can become a buddha yourself ตาคุณละกัดจิงเฉาะกอมสิงเดอันนี้เชิญสมเจนติเลยอันนี้เจ็บจิงกอยาติคาริสนะเชิญสมเจนสิงเดรังละกงกอยเบเกอันนี้ก
Tarbe then in the second line where it reads uh, meditates on the great kindness of all beings then we can also have various quotations as well and including uh, from shantideva where also shantideva indicates that even temporarily and ultimate forms of happiness comes by the power of the kindness of others or depends on the kindness of others and it's very clear that the various forms of our practice depend on the kindness of others. And in that way, we should also have the respect and understanding the kindness of others. In a similar way, if you put just the Dharma aside for the time being, just think only in this life, uh, the temporary happiness we gain in this life depends on the dependence of others or the kindness of others. In that way, if you contemplate this over and over again, you will see that the kindness of others actually, they're actually more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel. A wish fulfilling jewel can give only some gains or wealth or, or possessions in this particular life, but doesn't have any influence in, in future lifetimes. Well, if you cherish other sentient beings, then because of that, you can achieve various goals like liberation and enlightenment. So uh, it's actually more precious, sentient beings in that regard are more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel because it goes much more beyond a temporary forms of gains in this life. And then even if you achieve enlightenment, then also for the purpose of benefiting others, also there again, it depends on the kindness of others. So you can see here that um, the, the actual cherishing others or the benefit of cherishing others is uh, an aspect of, of uh, meditating on the great kindness of all beings. Mm -hmm. oh. That That then the dashing yamje tumo mine, but Tanyon Gombelo, the Mondo Tane, and a tea jutella, ranchins in the go to money some. Shane chins in the yard, go to money some. And then that tea jesu dashing jew, sambangue, dashing jew, sambangue teller, and a jitandeki, sick to so, and a junju sick to so, and a some tane, dashing jayagi, some notolia, ranchins in the yard, the shane chins in the yard, and the tavern lotted in that tea. Jetusa Rebe, Tusa Marebe, some Yundu, and Tagi Karsa Chibarangi Tunjab, Tuba Shingi Tunjab, Dingi Gini, Kabarto, Sagi, or Tindegi, some not Tindu, Ta Genubalia Tache, Genuia, and Dashinje, some of us, and Ta Tanisun, the Ranjins in the Yondu, Shinjins in the Yundin de Ton, and some Tayati. The Manam Jesun Delam Gobello, Tae and then Jume Gortoni, Roa de da Dagi Dalanja, Soli Chebras and Bachingi Laws and Ta Tuscene, and Shanging Zing and the Goduman Samate Soli Jim Dorna Chiba Randon Conada, Terbati Shoot, Dorna Chiba Randon Conada, Tuan Shendon, Bashin Zebai, Gunda Yende, Yava Tobel, Dashing Yam Jen Nuber Tingy Laws, that Dashing Jen Nuber Taja, Dashing Yam Jen Nuber Tingy Law. And then Rangi Jebra Zimbe, John Nandi, Mindu Dungerkebe, Gurtone, Lelen de la Condo Sonje, Tanzi Rangi Jinzu Gubakun Yugo, Mana Jinzi Yenegun Yishi, Tishir Dashin Jeve, Nanjola, Yamle Nibocheva, Chingilops, or Tichene, and Dashin Jeve, and in Lo, or Mushkumia Tiche. And then that ten Jizola Matujins, the Tongling Yamlenti, but those celebrate us. 
So here, next uh, point in the text, then uh, talks about the actual practice of tonlen, right? Or the practice of a combination of giving and taking. But that uh, aspect of giving and taking, before you start with that, uh, normally we first uh, meditate on equanimity, yeah? And then especially the specific form of equanimity of all sentient beings in accordance with the equanimity training of exchanging self others. Then contemplating the faults of the self cherishing attitude and then contemplating the benefits of, of cherishing others, yeah, and then actually exchange uh, self for others, and then do the Tonlang practice, right? So then uh, that's kind of a preliminary to the Tonlang practice itself. In the Lama Chopa, we see a similar kind of sequence uh, happening that um, you contemplate before actually engaging in the, in the verse of, of the Tonlang practice, then uh, it also talks about a similar kind of aspect of exchanging self for others. And before that, uh, the advantage of the self cherishing attitude and uh, exchange self for others. And before that, equanimity. Yeah. So for those who want to refer to the Lama Chopa, then I don't have to read the whole English verse, but LC90 talks about uh, the equanimity between self and others in order to uh, see that the both uh, seek for happiness and don't want suffering. And then uh, contemplating the faults of the cherishing attitudes to see that the chronic disease of cherishing myself is a fault, giving rise to all forms of suffering. And perceiving this, seek your blessings to blame, begut, and destroy this monster demon of selfishness. So you contemplate the, the faults of the cherishing attitude. After that, also in that same sequence in the Lama Chirpa LC 92, then it talks about the advantages of cherishing others. Yeah, the mind that uh, sees mothers and places them in bliss is the gateway leading to infinite qualities. Seeing this, I seek your blessings to cherish these transmigrated beings more than my life, even should they rise up as my enemies. And then you actually go into the actual exchange of self uh, cherishing, uh, self cherishing for others when it says, in brief, infinite being labor only for their own ends, while the able ones work slowly for the welfare of others, with a mind understanding the distinction between the failings of one and the ones of the others. I seek your blessings to enable to equalize myself in exchange for others. Uh, so then, based on that aspect and cherishing uh, myself as a summary is doorway to all loss, then cherishing my modest foundation of all qualities. That's kind of the summary in LC 94 of the Lama Chirpa uh, dedication prayer. And then only after that, you engage in a tonlang practice, yeah, then where you recite that verse three times and thus perfect, pure, compassionate guru, I seek your blessings that all negative karmas, obscuration and suffering of modern transmigrator beings may without exception ripen up in me right now. And that by giving my happiness and virtue to others and all transmigrated beings may experience happiness. So that's actually then in the Lama Chirpa, we see the similar sequence happening of, of, of first equanimity, then uh, ex yeah, seeing the faults of self cherishing attitudes, then seeing the benefits of, of cherishing others, and then uh, the actual exchange of self others. And then only after that, you engage in the Tonglen practice or the practice of uh, giving and taking. Mm -hmm. That Tonleng Kotala, Tonleng Yibo Pemar Jans, and eh, Lembe Korim Ranetam said you some two. Ruba Lembe Korim Ranetams, or two serre, that ten davati, a Tonleng Telaya, and eh, chick de la Tong Lens in a part time at the end, you were lens at the jelly, you were already, one at Tanis and Yamlen, Giant, Lanton Rubata, Tombo Lamba, Tinde into Dungan Lamba. And some gen shing, dungen lamba, dungen gu nyomon lamba, and in nyomon calling you a gu, and she said, Duba paja the java lambas, and dungen da dungen gu da te paja the java lambas, and the two rimbas into che, pa toya de la lu toma, long ju toma, geza toma, sadly, or the rimbas into pa, yebache, tende indu, dungen tu lene, and lu toma de pasha, and dungen gu nyomon lamba the two lene, and the pa toya de la, and so then the actual tongling practice uh, where we then uh, reach in the in the mind training text then yeah we say tonglen yeah so tonglen is a translation of two terms of, of uh, we say um, 
giving and teaching. Yeah, so when it comes to the aspect of uh, taking, then also we actually, what we do, we take the suffering and the cause of suffering uh, and the afflictions and the imprints of those causes of suffering. So we actually take all those aspects of suffering, the causes and the imprints. And that's what we take. And what do we actually give? We give uh, body uh, possessions and, and our virtues to others. So in a similar way, we see that also in that verse LC95 in the Lama Chirpa, where you uh, make supplications to the Guru and then seek your blessings that all negative karmas, and it says also obscurations, suffering of mother transmigrate go beings. Yeah, so that also indicates karma together, or sorry, the suffering together with the causes may without exception ripen on me right now. So that's first the aspect of taking. Yeah, although in Tibetan we have Tonglen, which first talks about giving, but in the actual practice here, it's first the aspect of taking. Um, may without exception right now, right now. And then by giving my happiness and virtue to others, that then includes uh, body, um, uh, yeah, body possessions and, and virtues that you uh, dedicate for others. All my greatest may experience happiness. So we see the aspect here of Tonglen, of actually the aspect first of taking and then um, giving. Oh, <laughs> And <laughs> So then um, with, the suffer with the taking and giving practice and also in the commentary, it says that one can start first uh, for oneself. Yeah, so take one's future suffering upon oneself and then uh, focus upon others. Well, focusing in that way, then we can also, as it says here, practice a combination of giving and taking. Giving and taking should be practiced alternately and should begin with from yourself. Uh, these two should be made right on the breath. So that means that when we inhale, we take the suffering, the cause of suffering and the imprints of other beings. And then we exhale, we give our own uh, body, wealth and, and virtue to others. Yeah, so that's the way where it says it should be right on the breath. Then from the point of view of the, the, the different objects yeah, of, of we, we focus upon, so we have the objects of those who are pleasant to the mind and those who are those people who are not pleasant to the mind and those in between uh, those two. And then also from the point of view of, um, or we can say friends, enemies and strangers. Yeah? And then also from the point of view of the three times, uh, we think about the three times sentient beings of past, present, and future to also take away their suffering and causes of suffering in the particular afflictions like attachment, anger, and ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dala teta chepancho, Dala teta dimiji, dagemalu te michos, tis semte and gashija, candu mato tisit, tisilana mebai, chanjutoja neguchis, or that tisutantata, 
gombachi tumbachi imbare ta ko sikti nuba chambo doa kar dusna semja namla so shimpans jidan sondengi kansa chiki pet ke che shu chikze ati kar resna ta jidan de ke che mambo yarte ti nane ya nimbo duin so 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 tres ba songo tumbachi ati ta ke che shu tres din semja namla so shimpans ta Chanju sembe lo jong nyamne chinge jig ngene chanju sembe nyamne chinge jig ngene ba rang so le ka shen semje singe di ani che ba zia ji o ke chumbo inza da la ta da che pan shos da le ta da che pan shos da la ta da che pan shos ta che da yena re mena re tonda chi ba du wo re da le ta da che pan shos na se ru chimba re da la nga la ni ani semje te do ani Chef <laughs> Maranzo Chita, Jimbataya, Yungo, Tende in the Cabra Cabra, the Jimbatama Calcar, or Natalie Jimbatamaina, Nacheva Chima inare, Senju inare, Mala Longe Chamber Yungure, some ranching in Jigi, Shugutelia, Sosolia, Kevinji, Tondala, Shen Jimbatan Saji, Chaldra Chaldra Chigua, that in the Chanju Sembe Yamlessing in the Lenta Namila Rava Meba, or that Semjan Shen Conalam, but Dibuta Java, Semjan Shanlia, Patanje, get the Dibuta Java, Semjan Shanla Tanje, Tende in the Dagi Maluta Michos. That tender chicken in a jing of Chile Hindu. She says, Semjan Gashi Jan Kando Madro, Tisit, Titilana Meva, Chanju Tobia, and a Sebe Koya Gatolia, and Netobachi, Titanam Gun, Jango Javashin, Junju, Lunga Yana, Tire, Chisin Namga Neva, and Roa Chisin Nego, Tisit Dan and Negun, Rever Dunga Seva Shows, and have what the Tendichi, the Nindo Chipigi Yamer, Moose Coranton to Edgy, the Yungu Yeme Missi, Moose Land to Edgy, Yungu Yeme Missi, Tomo Mine Belende Yanani, Yungu Yimbare, Kansa Shenda, the Tatel, Tomo Mine Belende Yana, then Tomo Mine Belende Men, the Tendichi Yungo Marete, or Teta Rulo Jambala Tene, Nindo Cone Condo Pea, or Chila Ketchumbo Yumaji or Tosimber. So as we just saw in that um, the verse LC 95 in the Lama Chippa, where you request the Guru and then engage in the, in the aspect of the Tongling practice, uh, similar verses we can also find in, the, for example, Nagarjuna Zaradnavali, where also there it goes a step uh, that uh, sentient beings are actually most important. Yeah, they're actually more important than my own life. As we um, see our own life as the most important aspects we can think of, but there are reasons that actually sentient beings are much more important than that because they accomplish all the things we have to accomplish on the ultimate level. And we should, because of that, we should see uh, sentient beings as more precious than one's own life. If you have reached that particular insight of that particular experience, then you automatically uh, see them as much more important than your own life. And then only uh, it's much easier to actually take their suffering and uh, together with the causes yeah, of, of um, afflictions and, and in the imprints. And in a similar way, one will make a wish to uh, let one's own virtue and, and possessions and, and um, body will ripen upon the benefit of others and that's a very powerful tool because often we engage in generosity and then there might be an aspect of attachment coming up that we wish to experience wealth in the future so also this will help to stop that because we actually give away that virtue uh, so the cause of the virtue as well as the effect of the virtue we engage in and in that way we uh, we should work for the benefits of all sentient beings for a very, very long time, and as long as we can, because we have an uncommon karma connection with <coughs> certain sentient beings. And then, as His Holiness the Dalai Lama always quotes this verse of uh, Shantideva, as long as space remains, as long as sentient beings remain, may I too remain to dispel the suffering of uh, sentient beings. So that is a kind of a very powerful verse we also should recite 
and make a strong prayer in order to accomplish that purpose and because we have an, a kind of uncommon relationship with certain sentient beings and we also create a relationship with sentient beings because of that and then only our um, yeah our cherishing others uh, aspects of the training will increase by the power of these kind of uh, contemplations dinza dela tamba kuwechil jolom kundu tsigi jangs or da di tenso taya tondala and ji tunda tunsam jolom khande kabla yinaya and di yaya george tonglengi nyamleng kor tsig tuzo ben tena ji zula ma tuji ji ma jundo di di dunga gu saya tsigi nare yaha menane and dala teta di mi ji dage malu temishu saya gi tinde tsigi nare o ta khanda khai nya and ji tonglengi nyamleng and sig to secure a tone, and you search a gores, jolom gundu, sigi jangs, and sigi gula tene, turn to some not tambe gone, and the lojong in yamle cone condo pear, and turn gores, tell a temple gurus, jolom gundu, sigi jangs, or the sungu yamber. And then also it reads in the actual text that uh, the instruction to be followed in short, it is to be mindful of the practice in general and by taking these words to heart in all activities. So whatever activities we engage in in daily life, we should always remember the, these instructions and then we can join it with either of those verses just mentioned. So you can join it with that verse of the Lama Choba requesting the Guru and then engage in the Tonglang practice or any other verse related with the Tonglang practice practice so you can recite uh, those verses and then contemplate a meaning and then engage in the actual practice of the tonlen ko ta nanju chuju sungi jirimji imbe chane kama jonga ji parasha chapsangi o entine anjom chosu so because we have a 3 hour session so maybe we have a 15 minute break for those who need to use the, the bathroom and then we uh, yeah we continue after 15 minutes Thank you.